In this video, we're going over tips and tricks on the portal by Facebook. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today, we're going to go through some really cool tips and tricks that you may not have known on the portal by Facebook. Our first tip is a really cool one. We wanna show you how to watch YouTube videos on your portal. So if you go to the app section, you'll notice that there is no YouTube app, which is a little sad at first, but if you click over here to websites, you can actually find the YouTube website and you can just add it. And by adding it, it basically goes to your home screen like it's an app. It's going to be right there. It's a shortcut. And when you open it up, it will take you to the web browser and allow you to access the full desktop version of YouTube. So you can still find videos and watch them in full view. Uh, really easy just with that little tip. All right. Our next tip is going to be. Uh, so the browser, so obviously we went over how to access YouTube and really not just YouTube, you can access any, just about any website on your portal by going to browser. You go to browser and just tap in the little uh, search bar up here and now you've got the keyboard and you can go to any website. You'll notice you don't have apps like Netflix and Hulu, but guess what? I can just simply type them in and I can watch them through the browser. So it's a really easy hack to still be able to access all the normal things you would use on a computer or even on a tablet. So that's how you'd watch Netflix, Hulu, or any of your other favorite streaming um, services. One other cool tip right here is with the keyboard up, if you wanted to type the numbers, normally you would just tap the number button and that would take you to the set of numbers here. But I can also type and just hold down, like for example, on this R for about a second, and then it will add the number that way. So this should cut down on you entering information by just holding down on the keys that have numbers to easily input them into a search. So there is that. All right, our next tip is going to be using the app called Storytime. Now, if you swipe to the left here, you'll have this app called Storytime. This is a cool app for kids that will really put them in the action. Hey, there's me. Hey guys, you really see me, but there's me. So you can basically select one of these stories, Itsy Bitsy Spider, hit play, and it's an interactive storybook that will have your face on the screen and it really just adds some uh, fun for little ones. You've got some music, they just swipe to the left, and it'll have the whole story right in front of them. And then at certain points, a little bubble will pop up. Oh, there you go. Or it'll be in the center of the screen and it puts you right in the middle of the story. So this is super fun. And for little ones, they'll really enjoy it and get a lot of hours of entertainment from it. So there is that. Let's get back home. All right, our next tip is going to be um, using the portal as a Bluetooth speaker. That's right, the speaker on the portal is ridiculously loud. In fact, I was playing some content from Pandora and I was blown away at just how, how much bass there was and just how loud it gets. So this is a great little tip for you if you wanna project the music on your phone, simply go to settings. Under the general tab, you're gonna go down to Bluetooth Tap here, hit pair devices, and then on your smartphone, just make sure that you have Bluetooth turned on and make sure you go to pairing. And once you do that, your phone will, should show up in the list here. This is my Galaxy Note 10. And I can just tap right on here. Now it's gonna show your portal and whatever you've named it and give it a second, it will pair and now my phone is paired to the portal and I can now play music from my phone through the portal speaker. So that's a really fun way to get more value from it. It's just using it as a Bluetooth speaker while it plays a slideshow of your pictures. So definitely great for the holidays, parties and things like that. 
Our next tip is going to be uh, some ways you can adjust how the slideshow and transitions work. So we'll go back to settings. We're gonna go down to super frame and you can change some cool things here. So you can change the transition speed. Maybe you want it to go a little bit faster and start to do pictures or maybe the opposite. Maybe you want it to go slower. You can adjust how often the pictures change from the transition speed section here. And jumping into our next tip, you can actually link your Instagram account to the portal and then you can play photos from your Instagram on your portal as well. I definitely didn't know this was one of the functions of the portal and I love it because I have a ton of pictures on both platforms that I rarely ever look at. This is a great way to kind of take that trip down memory lane and enjoy all of your old pictures of you and friends and family and trips and things like that. All right, our next tip is gonna be uh, setting a passcode for your portal. So uh, in the event you don't want people playing around with your settings or looking at different things in your account, you can set a privacy code. So we're gonna stay in the settings, go down to privacy and swipe up and we're gonna turn on passcode. And once this is turned on, you will need to just sign into your Facebook account or follow the linking instructions here. If you get tired of this message coming up over and over again, every time you wanna make a change, just tap don't ask to confirm again, and it won't keep asking you before you make these changes. But anyway, after you do this, you will be able to set a passcode so that uh, settings can't be changed unless you put the code in. So great way to protect your settings and make sure no one is um, messing around with you and changing your settings without telling you. Our next tip is a really cool one for households that have multiple people. Maybe you want to use Portal when you're at home and maybe your family members want to use it when they're home. You can add a second account to the Portal. So in the upper right corner where you'll see your name and your profile picture, you're going to tap on that picture. And here you can add a, a second user by simply them uh, connecting it with their device, going to facebook.com slash device and putting the code in or hitting use Facebook password and then signing into their Facebook account. Once they do that, you'll be able to toggle back and forth between the users from that little option right there. Our next tip is gonna be back in the settings here. It's uh, something you'll want to enable general, go down to display. It is the night mode. So you can actually set your portal to go into night mode at nighttime. And again, we can schedule it. Basically say, hey, I want it to start at 10 p.m. and I want it to go off at 6 a.m. This will adjust the screen settings so that your eyes don't get strained from looking at the screen so much. It will adjust how the colors show to um, just help out with your eyes. So. That's a really cool thing. You can set it to be an automatic thing and just automatically come on, or you can manually turn it on yourself. It's up to you. In this section also, you have some options to adjust the screen brightness. Out of the box, it does come as automatic, and I would say keep it on that setting. Um, but if you wanna play around with the, the brightness, you can turn this off and do it yourself. You can also set it where if the room is in, uh, if your portal is in a room that is dark or there's low light, it will switch to just showing the clock versus showing a slideshow. So no need for it to show a slideshow if no one's in that room, right? So you could enable this and then it would only show again just the clock if the room was dark or dim. So there is that. And our final tip is gonna also be in the settings. This is the do not disturb setting, which I, definitely encourage you to set up. We're gonna to go to general, and we're gonna go all the way down to call settings and do not disturb. And what this does is it sets your portal so uh, it will silence any calls and it won't show you as active until 8 a.m. So if someone is up super late and tries to call you, it won't ring through the portal waking you up. So definitely think this is a, an important setting to turn on so yours isn't going off at all hours of the night. Someone could be pranking you because they know you have it or they could be calling you for whatever reason. If you don't want calls late at night, I would say turn on Do Not Disturb. 
And that's it guys. This has been our quick tips and tricks of the portal by Facebook. I hope you guys found this helpful. Do us a favor, leave us a comment down below and let us know what tip was your favorite and most helpful. We always love hearing your feedback. Again, if that video is helpful, make sure you hit that like button, favorite it, share the video, and subscribe for more videos. Take care and have a good one.